Crufts is the Super Bowl of dogs. The show spans a few days every single year and is one of the most anticipated events in the pet world. But despite it being so successful and despite it being so widely covered, the event is still criticized by many. And in this video, I am going to share with you some of those viewpoints and I want you to let me know what you think. Now, there are two very important bodies that vehemently oppose Cruft. The first one is the RSPCA and the second one is PETA and they are huge animal welfare advocates. The RSPCA says, quote, that the BBC programme Pedigree Dogs many years ago exposed blamed Crufts for promoting breed standards which can have detrimental effects on a dog's health, such as dangerously flat faces and excessive skin folds, end quote. And so there is an argument, the first argument is there, that a lot of these dog breeds are bred to an extreme. They want to adhere, the breeders, the people, us, want them to adhere to unattainable or highly unattainable or a highly aspirational look in which we think that particular breed should look like. And it is for that reason that the RSPCA and the Dogs Trust haven't attended the awards since 2009. Another article by Peter exposes why, in their opinion, this practice isn't very good for some dogs. For example, they say that Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are born with schools too small for their brains, which one vet described as being like trying to fit a size 6 shoe onto a size 10 foot. German Shepherds are prone to serious back conditions that can leave them crippled. And this is the notion that a lot of these dog breeds have to adhere to very high standards, to very specific looks, to very unattainable or aspirational models of beauty in the breeder's opinion. Another fan favorite like the English Bulldog, they say commonly have difficulty walking, breathing, mating, and giving birth. They go on to say that if you do indeed love dogs, you should hate crufts. And that is a very powerful thing to say coming from Peter who are self-declared animal lovers. Now, this is one side of the argument. The other side of the argument has to do with the pet food industry. And the pet food industry is going to be in full swing, in full display for everyone to see and for you, the consumer, to be glued to their banners and their publicity. We, for example, have just discovered the partnership between the Kennel Club and Mars Pet Care. On a statement publicized on X, they go on to say, we are pleased to announce a new partnership with Mars Pet Care. We are excited about this partnership with leading brands such as Well Beloved Pets and Royal Canin UK. Now, there is something you really need to know about the pet food industry and some of these brands. Now, you might not know this, but Mars Inc, the chocolate company, is one of the biggest conglomerates and players in the pet food industry. They have a pretty wide array of different dog and cat foods, and in our opinion, those foods are not very good. For example, one of the most popular cat foods in the whole white world, such as Whiskers, put meat and animal derivatives, cereals and various sugars in cat food. And of course, it doesn't take a genius to know that cats are obligate carnivores and they do not need any cereals and they do not need any sugar in their diet. Another controversial brand is Royal Canin and Royal Canin contain many, in our opinion, inflammatory ingredients such as maize, rice, 
animal fats and things like wheat and maize gluten. These are foods that are filled with carbohydrates that are completely unnecessary to your dog. The first thing you need to do before you buy any Royal Canin product is turn the bag of food over and see those ingredients for yourself in full swing and you will realize that those are not the best ingredients for your dog. Another big sponsor, another big name is James Well Beloved. And this food adds dextrose, which is a form of sugar in your dog's food. So should you be feeding sugar, wheat gluten, corn and maize and meat and animal derivatives to your dogs or cats? In our opinion, you should not. You should realize that crufts, like a lot of other big events, are no more than a huge marketing event. They are a huge opportunity for some of those brands to display a goodwill component, their good side to the consumer. We are not saying those brands do not love dogs, but if they loved dogs or cats more than they loved money, they would not be adding rice or sugar or wheat or corn or be putting animal fats and meat and animal derivatives in dogs and cats food. We do not think those foods are appropriate for any dog whatsoever. The list is literally endless. You should always have a look at what you feed your dog or cat and you should make your own decisions about how and when you buy dogs and where you buy those dogs from. Because it is indeed true that those dog breeds come with their own problems from allergies to different immunological disorders to flat noses to respiratory problems and to all sorts of health conditions so some of the criticism is absolutely granted it is incumbent upon you and me to always check what we are giving our dogs for food and where our dogs come from. And if we see something cruel and if we see something that is not right, I believe it is our duty to call it out. But what do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you read the ingredients you give your dog or cat? I bet you would be surprised in some of the treats and, and some of the food you feed your pet. We see this every single day and we encourage people to become more adept to reading labels and educating themselves on pet nutrition because a healthy pet will vastly improve your life. Please like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.